That's why that's why you got a bunch of people helping you out. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. Good. We've got the recording. Uh, I'll go ahead and just just in case we'll back up. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is Saturday, August 27th, and you are here with us on an amazing um they're not once in a lifetime but they're once in a rarity because this is an opportunity it's an amazing opportunity for you to talk with a multimillionaire one who is successful and one who is not just a multimillionaire but he is a good friend he is a mentor and he has a lot to share he has life experience and it is so fantastic, so fantabulous to get to share uh, him with you, to be part of this, because today is what we like to call AMA, Ask Me Anything, okay? Doesn't matter what question that you want. If you have a question, please pose it to this gentleman. As I said, he's got life experience. He's got experience in networking. He's got just experience in a lot of things. And bless you, Robert, because you share so much of yourself, just even on a daily basis with your daily uh, calls. And now you get to share it with us open with questions. Already see a hand going up. And before I go ahead and introduce Robert for a few words before we get started, I just want to share with you that if you do have a question, you need to put your cursor at the bottom of this window where you see all of these images right here in front of you. Uh, there is a button down there called the participants button. Click on that. A list of names will appear to the right of the screen. Look at the bottom of that list and click on the raise hand button and it will notify us that you have a question. Also, if you look on the bottom, there's one a button that says reactions. If you click on that reactions button, also there is one that says raise hand. I already see two hands up. And we're gonna go for a little while today um, because uh, we have Robert for a set period of time. And we wanna get as many questions in as possible. Please ask a question. If you don't wanna ask it to him personally, here in the chat, you can go or here in front of Robert, go ahead and put your question in the chat and we will call, uh, uh, I will read it to Robert and he will answer it appropriately. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, what a pleasure to be able to be working with this man, to be learning with this man, and honestly, to call this man a brother and a friend. I love him a lot. I'm honored to be here doing this with him. And I hope you're honored to be here with him to enjoy what he is going to share with us today. Without further ado, let's get started. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for Robert Collins. <laughs> hey, Craig, I don't know if that happened on just my side or everyone's side, but man, you had so much energy that time, it just went. No, I just, as soon as you started saying it it just went blank <laughs> i was gonna say i feel like the ground rumbled where i was so. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> craig thank you so much for being on here i love and appreciate you more than you'll ever know and and uh yeah i'm i'm, I'm glad that we're back I, i'm glad that we're back doing ask me anything i got to thinking this today um that you know maybe maybe matt will talk it over with matt but maybe i start doing these every saturday um, you know what I mean? For for a while to get people uh, uh, up to speed. And before I get started, uh, again, Matthew, thank you so much for putting this all together. Uh, he, he keeps reminding me there wouldn't be an AMA today if it wasn't for Matthew. So my son, I love and appreciate you so much. And one thing that I'd like to reiterate or make a little clearer of what Craig said is uh, I'm just very, very blessed and I was thinking, why would someone want to ask me anything? Uh, if you guys really wanted to know the key thing that I wish I could give you is two things. Here's the two. Um, fulfillment. If you look up that word in the dictionary, um, fulfillment encompasses everything. 
You know, so I used to, when I was young, I was focused on the mastering achievement. You know, let's, let's see how many plaques and stuff I can get. And then it went from there to, you know, working on joy and working on fulfillment and helping other people. And I don't know if you guys know this and, and may or may not find this impressive, but, um, you know, I haven't worked for anyone for 35 years. And, and I don't want to say this in bragging, but um, I've really lived an awesome life. <laughs> so all the things, depending on the stage of your life that you're at, whether it's homes or vacations or automobiles or motorcycles or uh, uh, excursions, stuff that we've done. I, I mean, I could give you some highlights and I'm just like, you know, I, I, I put together and sponsored a car. Um, it's funny, I could actually grab this real quick and just show you on the wall. If you can see that on the, on the wall there. So I used to be in racing and to think that I was working with two companies and put together a deal with Andrew Robero and won the Michigan 500. So you're looking at a guy that was a mechanic in a garage in Williston, North Dakota. And then standing in the winner circle of the Michigan 500, having to do with the sponsorship and the building of that car and we freaking won it. <laughs> I mean, so, you know, I could talk about highlights and, you know, I've been on 2020 with Barbara Walters and Hugh Down. You know, that was my little 15 minutes of fame in Florida in front of 43 million people. Uh, how many people remember when there was just a couple of channels? <laughs> you know, it was funny. I was, I was listening to uh, Kevin Hart recently. And if you guys, one of the things that I'm just loving right now, Shark Tank again is one of my very, very, very best shows to watch because it's stories. It, it's, it's nothing but stories of people that had these ideas and then went to wherever they are. But some of the things that are really getting me now is, is uh, you know, uh, David Letterman. You know, there's this new interview style where you're just raw. You're, you're just raw and you talk about people's lives. And when you hear these rags, the richest story, rags, the richest story, rags, the richest story, because we all see a small snapshot of the person's life right now. <laughs> you know what I mean? But sitting down with them and they telling you where they grew up. And, you know, last night, uh, my wife and I, the next series we've been doing is, uh, is recently watching, you know, Kevin Hart's interviews. They're called Heart to Heart. They're on, on Peacock. Wow. Just wow. And so you don't have to like these people, but he had Nick Cannon on there. And he says, tell me about your your um your when you were young listen to this line he says well first of all i attended my father's high school graduation <laughs> i went wow what a sentence that really gets you in the thought pattern of how young his parents were they never got married they never got married you know what I mean? And so he was just saying, <laughs> just, I mean, when you hear these guys, the way they talk about their fathers. So Kevin Hart and, and uh, uh, Nick Cannon really grew up in life not really having their father around. And it was so funny as the guy goes, well, are, are, have you ever been bitter about your father? And he says, listen, you can either be bitter or better. And he says, so my father was a 100% role model for not what to do in life. <laughs> he said, so all the things that I wanted is, you know, because I wanted acceptance. And he said, so I look back in my life and everything that I did was me one day, and get this, this is my story, that's why it hit my heart, is that one day I was gonna have this conversation with my father and I could open up this three ring binder. Today, it would be a movie. But I could open up a three ring binder and show my father all the things I freaking did in my career. 
and only to do one thing is to prove to him that he messed up by not having a relationship with me. You guys catch this? And then all of a sudden you get a little older and it's like one part of me was like, I can't wait to meet this guy to beat the crap out of him, you know? And then, then I didn't care. And then I felt sorry for him. So I can really relate to Kevin Hart talking to these people. He talked to Brian Cranston last night. It was uh, amazing. But when you hear these people's stories, um, Brian Cranston's story is the same. You know, at 11 years old, his dad disappeared. And it's funny that these people that have this unbelievable desire and and motivation and and just does don't know how to stop accomplishing stuff is they still got this thing in their mind thinking, you know what? Uh, yeah, I, I'm going to prove it to everybody. You know, they use all the negativity for fuel. So I only say that to say to each and every one of you that there's so many ups and downs in my life uh, of, you know, companies and trying to start companies of my own and being a part owner of the company. But still my proudest, proudest, proudest moments is, you know, watching my incredible sons and now my grandchildren and be there to inspire them so that they can live their best life. It's neat to know that Matt and I here are working together uh, on a number of different projects, but Matt hasn't had to get a job because of decisions I made. That I can work with my son and we can consistently go out there and, and create uh, a kind of wisdom and knowledge that everyone needs. Most people don't want it. They don't want it. Uh, and cre uh, yeah, freedom is like amazing. So, so anyway, done with my little part at the beginning. But again, no question off limits. No question off limits whatsoever. And, and my goal is just to help to inspire you or guide you in a direction of getting that mentality out of your thoughts that, that you can't do it. That, you know, that you're stuck. You're not stuck. You're just uninspired. So if you watch things like the Kevin Hart interviews and the David Letter inter interviews and, and, and stuff like that, Shark Tank, you start constantly seeing a theme. And my wife was watching some other ones. I think they're called Untold. Uh, last night, you know, we all know who, you know, Sampras is and we all know who Andy Reddick is. But a lot of people don't know that there was this guy named Marty, I-M-A-R-D-Y, Marty Fish. And um, my God, what a what a up and down story that was. It was just like freaking incredible. So, you know, there's things like that that I think are so, so important because if you can find stories that in that in, that touch you on a way that inspire you, and you're like going, Are you kidding me? You know, if, if they can do it, I can do it. So Craig, back to you, and and I appreciate you guys uh, listening to the little rant. <laughs> <laughs> no, not rant. Lesson. These are again. These are life lessons from, of course, somebody whose phrase "documentation beats conversation" is his. I mean, it he he. He has copyrighted it. It is his. And that's the reason why if you think about it, when you watch Robert on a daily basis, he is documentation. He walks the walk, talks the talk. He's done it. And if he doesn't, if he hasn't done it, he will tell you right up that, okay, I haven't experienced it in this way. And either he will do it or he won't based on his convictions. That is what is so beautiful, Robert, about what you do and how you work and share with other people. Right now, speaking of other people, let's get started. We've got, a, uh, I've got uh, definitely three, maybe four uh, who are lined up to ask you a question. Uh, right now, I've got Bill Schumacher, Shauna Hancock, and John Tier, and maybe someone else. I'm still trying to make sure he's uh, available, but let's go ahead and get started. Bill Schumacher, come on down. Time to talk to Robert. Uh oh. There we go. Oh, there we go. Had a little technical difficulty. And again, Craig, I love that introduction. You sound like you belong on the prizes, right? Oh, <laughs> that's awesome. 
But I'm a maker, not a mocker. So I'm sorry, maker. <laughs> Wait I, was gonna, I was gonna ask. Bill that. Shoemaker. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So Robert, thank you for all you do. You know I love you, brother, so much, and uh, you you've been incredible. I mean. Your, your mentorship has just been awesome uh, off the charts and I don't you know you need no introduction so you answered a lot of my questions you know with your introduction so thank you for that and uh what what I would like to know for not only for me and I already know this but I want other people to know about the process you go through every day uh from you know from morning to night the steps when you talk to people what are those steps and I know you have it on, on record. I know this. <laughs> I know, I know. And I've been working on it. I work it on myself. I love your story. And also, what is the most important part of your steps? That's my like two-part question. <clears throat> thank you. For first of all, Bill, thank you so much for the kind words. I I I just love and and bottom line, you know, I'm always trying to reduce to the ridiculous in my thought patterns all the time. And all I'm doing consistently, Bill, is getting my mind and my heart in the right place to be inspired to go out and want to share the wisdom that I've learned with other people. That's it. So the things that prepare me for that, you know, sort of going backwards is, of course, at night when I go to sleep, you know, I, uh, I, I listen to meditation at night. And, and so you know, it really takes me out of my game. It gets my head to stop, you know, going. And and um, meditation at night is very important for me. I learned that years ago. It's sort of, sort of fun to see, you know, people like Ray Higdon and, and people that um, are working on their success. And then they, you know, Ray recently discovered uh, meditation about six months ago. And now he's pretty much him and Jessica put their whole business on hold to just, you know, meditate. <laughs> And it's like, wow, that that's important. And on in the morning when I get up, Bill, you know, as soon as I get up, I'm just like bouncing off the walls with, you know, how grateful I am and how wonderful the day is. Some people can call that prayer. Um, I have a neat little thing that I believe in. Uh, prayer is when you're uh, talking to a higher power of how grateful you are for everything and how thankful you are. And meditation is listening. And, and so I do both, you know, I, I still to this day, listen to six phase meditation, uh, you know, for me to be able to go from, you know, um, a uh, hundred thousand uh, uh, dollars, um, um, a month to doing that a week to wanting to do that in a day. It, it's like that constant me imagining the things that I want to do for my family and others. The, the legacy that I want to build. And if you're not spending a significant amount of time, I'm, I'm like saying, you know, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. If you're not thinking about where you're going to be three years from now, you're just never going to arrive. So I could go on a whole lesson about that. And you guys have heard me do it with my videos. And, you know, for those of you, you can go to roberthollis.com forward slash free and not only get a, a free copy of my best selling book, um, um, PDF digital but also videos like that, that just make you understand. So my daily process is for me to get Bill in that really excited um, frequency or whatever you want to call it, where I just can't wait to share with people. And Bill, I know that you're this kind of person. And I think that if you would hone it in more, uh, you would see miraculous results in your life. Because if you're one of those individuals that hear something, and as you hear it, it touches you in, your, in a way where you immediately feel like you want to stop listening and stop learning just to share it with the other people that you know it could benefit in, uh, then you're in the right place. What a lot of people miss up with, Bill, is add how many new strangers, people that you don't know that are not friends yet, right? So, you know, you guys hear stories like Jay Shetty. I was just talking to Ron Henley today. And, you know, you look at a guy that's, you know, been around for like six or eight years and he's got 23 million followers on Facebook. And, and the reason that he's got 23 million followers on Facebook 
is because he just was diligent and consistent of telling stories and analogies that have been out there forever. And, and when people ask him what he does, uh, he says, well, I look at myself as a modern guru and I just want to impart the knowledge and wisdom on the other people. And, and that's where that one line came from. You know, if what you know that you know that you know isn't so, when would you like to know? And I, at one time in my life, truly believe that the only way that Robert Hollis could make money is by working for someone else. And so my jobs weren't going to be the really high paying jobs because I wasn't that smart. <laughs> <laughs> you know, how times have changed. Do you know what I mean? It's like, you know, now they're there, you know, you can make six figures a year now being a mechanic, being an electrician, being a plumber, it, 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 you know, it's pretty amazing how, you know, uh, all the people that went to college to get degrees are having difficulty finding jobs, but yet, you know, every th place that you find that deals with construction or building something or creating something, they have, you know, help wanted. And so at one time in my life, there were certain things that I believed and, and uh, when someone was able, it's like, I was going to share this with Matthew, but I can share it with you guys live. You know, there, there's a series that I thought of in my meditation bill that, you know, um, um, that wouldn't it be fun to come up with short little videos uh, and, and what, they, what they're called to shut the front door. <laughs> because, because a lot of people know what that person was, was going to say, you know what I mean? But I'm just not a big cusser. I, I'm just not a big swear. You know, some people say, why don't you just swear? And it's like, well, I don't know. I, you know, I've had people influence me in my life and I feel like, you know, if something that I said would offend somebody, then why would I say it just to say it? You know what I mean? And other people go, well, that's how you wake them up. Well, great. That's their style. It's not my style. But you know, the other phrase of that, it was when I came up with a whole series of shut the front door, the first ones that popped in my mind is it still blows me away that we live in a world where just because of tradition, that there's people that, that, that still are telling their children there's an Easter bunny, <laughs> <laughs> that, there, that there's a Santa Claus, you know what I mean? And it's like, I, I, I don't know how this affects children, but, you know, as they wake up and they go, why did my why did every authority figure that I know of lie to me about this? <laughs> hey, let's put that tooth under a pillow and you're gonna get up in the tooth fairy. And then people got to keep adding one, you know, mench on the bench or elf, you know, uh elf on a shelf. And you think about all these things. Oh, does it say lost sound or is that just for Kai? I think it's just Kai. I'm hearing you fine. Is everybody else uh, still hearing Robert? It's fine. Yeah, Kai, okay. Kai, what you can just post is just me. Just me, you know. And, <laughs> and, and, and refresh. You may need to go out and come back in. Good. But, everybody seems but, to be fine. But, but Bill, did that help you? I can guarantee you, if you're the kind of person I believe, and if you're not, then correct that part. Right. But but if you get up in the morning and you're thankful and you're grateful and you go through your meditation and pray, prayer time, me, I also take a small, small segment of something that I listen to that just inspires the nuts out of me. Right. And then I'll immediately share that story. You know what I mean? So whether, you know, here I am, promoter of David Letterman, a promoter of Kevin Hart, a, a, a promoter of, you know, untold. Uh, untold. I don't know where that is, but they seem to be also about sports. Uh, um, but I'll find out what it is. I'm sure you guys can look it up. Um, it's funny, Craig, if you put in Google, you know, untold and then space Marty, not T D M A R D Y fish. Uh, it's going to bring it up right away. <laughs> oh, which by the way, that's the way I find stuff. So Bill, if you're the person that learns something, and then you don't share it with people that you don't know, there's your breakdown. So the things that I do in my morning ritual are the things that get me so excited that I want to share it with everyone. What most people do is they just keep sharing it with the same people that, that are still not doing anything. 
you know, put them all in a group like vision you guys are following this where i do like two or three posts in there a day if you don't get it you don't get it if you're not following me you're not following me if you're not going to my youtube you're not going to my youtube so it's like i don't want to have to remind people that they could be better in all areas in life if they just took the time to research so so that's that that's awesome what was the name of it um, there were a couple of them in there. This, the one that I saw that was a little bit is former tennis star, Marty fish. Yeah. Uh, hope Naomi Osaka just finds happiness. There's I don't know. Um, it's called, it's, I thought it was called untold. Is oh, there. Yes. I got it right here. Let me go yeah, ahead and I'll, I'll get like that TV, in TV series. So did that help yeah. with bill? Did that, that Robert, you always help me brother. You know, that. <laughs> And when you talk on your videos, when you talk on AMAs, you're always talking to everybody, not just me. Uh, you know, well, just I appreciate you, Bill. You always have kind words to say. You too, and uh, watch out. I'm coming. I'm, coming. I, I, I'm blessed to call you a friend. I, I just really yeah. am. I really, oh, yeah. truly, I'll add one more thing to Bill's story. Um, uh, I mean, question is, do you guys know what's going to happen in the future? What's happening right now? and happening in the future. Here you go. And this will make you more money than you could ever give away. Did you hear that? Don't think about how I'm gonna cover my bills or how I'm gonna quit my job. That's very small thinking. Think about helping millions of people. And I heard this, my son sent me a podcast um, uh, where I listened to Joe Rogan and Mark Zuckerberg. Now, I know a lot of people that immediately have so much ignorance in their heart and their mind that you've heard all this stuff about Mark Zuckerberg, so you wouldn't take the time to watch it. Or maybe you're even that way about Joe Rogan. All I know is I know I can learn from everybody. And so when it really came down to these two guys talking for three hours, here's the biggest takeaway I got. And, and listen to this. Mark Zuckerberg says, I'm still blown away that I was sitting around a lot of geeks that really wanted one thing in their lives in college, to meet really cool women. So we're not gonna go out to party. We're not gonna go clubbing. We're not gonna do any of that. So there's a student directory and in the student directory has the, has the girl's name. In that, it takes the classes in the major that she's going for, and that's it. That's not enough knowledge to want to reach out to them. So I thought, and my friends thought, what if we could create something where she would put up a picture of herself and also give a short bio of herself along with her interests and her disinterests. He goes, that's all it was. <laughs> now he says, are the rumors true? Yes, they're true. A bunch of geeks sitting in a dorm room going, uh, I'd rather go out with her than her. See, that, that's the rumor of it being a bad thing that all these guys were picking which girl they would rather be with than the other one, right? And he said, darn it, if that thing didn't, and he said, I never ever wanted it to be a, a business. He said, because I knew as soon as it caught on, Microsoft, Google, Yahoo, they would all take it. They got billions of dollars, unlimited resources. How in the heck am I gonna build a directory? And he said, so I built it. And then there was kids asking me from other colleges to do it. So we're adding on two colleges a week and it kept growing. And I'm going, now it's getting too big where these three guys are definitely gonna squash me. And he says, I still wonder to this day that all these guys with all this power are sitting in boardrooms and going, <laughs> that's stupid. So when people ask me why Facebook became what it is today, he said, we just cared enough to think that people would want this. He goes, then what happened? A lot of people that were in directory 
were graduated, but they were still using this to connect with people. And I thought, what if we opened it up and allowed everyone to create a profile? It goes down to where Facebook came from. So he said, listen, it was me thinking about a need that certain individuals have and how I could help those people resolve that problem. And then he just looked at, you know, Joe Rogan and said, how did you get so big? You ever sit and think about it? And this is what Joe Rogan said. I love learning. So I thought, what if I could just interview people that I was interested in? To be honest with you guys, everyone that's on my show are people that I'm interested in learning from. No one gets on this show if I'm not interested in you. <laughs> so he said, once I get them to come on the show, I think about all the questions that myself and my friends would like to ask them. And one day they said, you got the number one podcast and you're worth $300 million. He says, I still don't know what, what, what the hell's going on. <laughs> but I got Elon Musk on here and now I got you on here. And they both agreed that if you can just be authentic as possibly can, and not look and follow someone else's path to success and happiness. Is that powerful? So with the metaverse coming, Mark Zuckerberg says there's gonna be a large group of the population all over the world that is going to, with integrity and be an authentic and real, talk about things that they're passionate about and they would talk about that issue or those things without making any money. So for those of you that know me really, really close, I'm usually in circles or talking to somebody on Zoom or doing an AMA, and I'm usually just rattling off a bunch of stuff that I love to talk about. <laughs> I, I believe that I'm real. I don't know any other way to be. So there you guys go. There, there, there's the secret to happiness. So a lot of people ask me, well, you know, I don't have the time. I go, what do you mean you don't have the time? Well, I got to get up early and then I got to drive to work and drop the kids off. And then I got to go to this job and, and, and then I, and then I don't like my job. And then, and then I don't like the people around my job. And I'm going like, why are you going on a job? Robert, that's stupid. I do that because I need money. No, someone told you that you needed to get a job to make money. You could just make money. You could totally circumvent the job thing. And people are going like, nah, not me. And I'm going, you're absolutely right, not you. Because that's your belief. That's what you think in your head. Oh, I'm too stupid. You know, I'm, I, I, I'm too fat. I got a stupid laugh. My voice is stupid. Look at this lighting it sucks. You know, I, I, I had one guy that I beat up today. That's a brand new 25 K in my group. His name is Nate. He's probably on here. And he's like, well, I don't know how to use technology. I'm not good with technology. And I said, stop saying that. He goes, excuse me. I said, I understand people make a lot of money with technology and I don't know everything that I need to know now, but I'm going to learn it a little bit at a time like I've learned to do every freaking thing else. <laughs> and I was sending him screenshots. I said, don't, you can't type to me anymore. Send me a voice clip. He goes, I don't know how to do a voice clip. Let me show you how to do a voice clip. Oh, now he's doing voice clips. So I said, you know, an old dog can teach an old dog. You know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> <laughs> so again, Bill, thank you so much. I, I appreciate you. And, and yeah, that's what this is all about. So Craig, back to you. Bill, thank you so much. And Robert, I want to follow up because you did mention something and uh, somebody brought it up in the chat. Voy, Voish, Voishu or Voiku, Alexandra or Alexandra Voiku. Um, can you give us an example 
of what you think about during your meditations. I'm going to post just to let everybody know in the chat, the six phase meditation that Robert talks about and uses, but I think she wants more of a little more help on that. Although the six phase is guided, right? Yeah. The six phase is not only guided, but each and every one of you need to understand that this is the first time that you did it. So, so because you're the first time that you did it, a lot of people don't have a pleasant result. <laughs> and everything you do for the first time is like, hey, let's all go out and learn how to throw axes. You know what I mean? Let's do let, let's throw axes. You know, I, if you guys have ever seen the videos where the axe doesn't hit the board quickly and it comes directly back at you and everyone's scattering, you know, that that's a that's an embarrassment and a, a thing that doesn't make you feel good when you first start doing something. So meditation, a lot of people will start listening. And of course, you've got this voice in your head. I call it Dino. For those of you that are very young and you don't know the Flintstones, you know, look up Dino. But, you know, we all got numerous voices in our head that no one wants to talk about. And they're like, and, you know, and it's like, ah, this is BS. This doesn't work. You know, Robert, you know, Eric Markman, when he first started doing it, he said, Man, he says, every time I relax myself and listen to it, I fall asleep. <laughs> and I'm going like, awesome. Start there. Because if you keep listening to it, you'll notice that you'll listen a little further. And then you'll listen a little further. And then since it's guided, you might actually do what the hell he's telling you to do. <laughs> you might spend just a little moment going, name 10 things that you're grateful for. Now for phase two. See, it's like, oh my God, I, I, I can't rattle off 10 things that I'm grateful for. <laughs> that might be something you might want to work on a little bit. I'll give you one just recently. It's totally off track. Thank you, Craig. A person walked up to this guy and said, he goes, watch, I'm just going to, he goes, what do you love most? What do you love most? And he went through 50 people and not one person said me. <laughs> that, that might need to have a little adjustment there. <laughs> People say, what do you love? Oh, I love God. I, I, I love my wife. I love my children. I love my parents. Some people said, I love my job. And then he would say, it's funny, you listed a lot of things, but you never listed yourself. And you just seen everyone's body posture drop. They go, why didn't you mention yourself? Ah, that's a great question. <laughs> okay, so... So I hope that helped you with the meditation. It's something that you just got to consistently do and keep working yourself through it. And maybe if you can't make it through the whole meditation, you get bored or whatever, just try to get Kaizen. Just try to get 1% better, 1% better, 1% better. Now I'm the opposite. Now when I put it on, I'm like 1000% engaged because I, I can't wait to be grateful. I can't. You, I, I, I'm going to say something on a personal level here, you guys, that will blow you away. There's a part of one of the phases that, that says, I want you to imagine the person that's wronged you. There was a time in my life where that had to be put on pause. <laughs> <laughs> I had a list. <laughs> you know, um, now it comes on and says, you know, for this phase, I want you to think about someone that, you know, maybe a, a waiter upset you or someone cut you off in traffic or, or, or think of someone that, you know, that you have ill feelings toward. Can you imagine, please imagine that when someone says, Shauna, tell me someone that you're pissed off at the most. Uh, nobody. Wouldn't most people go, you're lying. You're lying. See, so 
each one of those sections, as you can work through it, you just keep getting gooder and gooder. So Greg, thank you for the add-on. They're always awesome. And uh, I appreciate you. Thank you, Alexandra. I hope that's your name, first name, if not Voiku or Voishu. Um, let's go ahead and go on. Uh, in, in what I, I've got Shauna on deck and John in the hole, as they say in baseball. So uh, let's go ahead with Shauna Hancock. Shauna, go ahead and open up your mic and please share with us. Okay, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Hello. All How right. Are you? All right. Thank you guys so much. I love these Q and A. Um, Kevin actually saw it and he was like, "Hey, this is at three o'clock." And I'm like, "Okay, let's get on." Um, I'm gonna, and, I was going to ask you to introduce your stalker. I, I, I yes, <laughs> yeah, my husband Kevin. Yes. <laughs> Hi, Kevin. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Um, yeah, and and I really appreciate. It. I love uh, Robert, you having your videos every day. Um, I I got to catch up on a few, but I love that you do those every day. Um, I love listening to you. I love your laugh. So you. it just thank puts you. me in a good mood listening to you. So <laughs> thank, you. thank you. Made my day. Thank you. Oh, good. <laughs> um, but okay, so it was kind of funny. You caught you touched a little on one of my questions. I actually had two. Um, mine is that Kevin's an over the road truck driver. Um, wow. So I am, you, I call myself a part-time single mom. So it is hard to try and balance work. I work full time um, and that, that by the time I'm finally like I get my son to sleep and I can just kind of relax, it, I feel it's too late to reach out to people. Um, so that's where I kind of get like Good. trying to, yeah, trying to balance that. But then it's also, I love talking as you can tell, and I love talking to people, but I have, I have a really hard time of transitioning to the business or okay. the products um, okay. and that, and that's, that's my two questions is, you know, like Great. the balance part and how to transition. Mm -hmm. So the first thing I'm going to say to you, Sean, is thank you so much and great uh, uh, meeting you, Kevin. Kevin, thank you for what you do, man. I mean, yeah, I'm telling you, <laughs> truck drivers uh, just do not get enough credit. It's like, I mean, everything you pick up at the store got there somehow. And uh, again, the way, the way the rest of the world is like treating them is like, you're nobodies. I mean, it's just ridiculous. So uh, uh, I came from the oil field, know a lot of truck drivers. And, and so I uh, uh, used to drive truck myself, but it was always for construction equipment. So I, I, I totally get that. And so first thing, Shauna, is that you let me help you get rid of two thoughts at the same time. One, there's no such thing as balance. Okay. There's there's that that is something that everyone said, you know, Shauna, I know you got a lot of going on, but make sure you you're there for the kids, make sure that you're there for work, that make sure you're there for Kevin. Just, you know, let's give you about 40 balls to juggle. And what you got to do is don't drop one. Okay, mm -hmm. that's just BS. It, it's 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 a it's one of those thoughts again. Someone put in our head that that we are saying, well, I got to be balanced. I got to do this right, and and there, it, you're never going to do it right. Out of all okay. the years that I've been in this business, what if we could just give up that BS that you know that I, I one day I'm going to get this right? No, you're not. <laughs> just, so so we can just throw that off there. But the second part is people always think they need to slot time to do this. What you want to do is figure out the little thing that you got to do. And when you do that, if it was just a short period of time, then you do it in, you do it sporadically. You know, this totally will get, go against probably everything you guys heard. You know what I mean? But I'll give you a neat example of the way most humans are. When you make a decision, Shauna, that you're going to clean something up, I, I've had it. It's time to clean up. Why is it that you start doing something in one room and then you go, who in the hell left it, this here? Kevin did, of course. You know, so so then what you do, you pick that up and then you go in that room. But when you put it in that room, then you start cleaning in that room. Yep. <laughs> I, I, so it's only Shauna and Kevin that relate to this or does everyone? <laughs> so once you get in that mind that you're just like, wow, you know, so Kevin's cleaning the garage and then 
you know, all of a sudden he's in the backyard cutting limbs off trees. It's like, how in the hell did that happen? (laughs) (laughs) Kevin went, moved some boxes and went, ah, there's that saw. And then, oh my God, I got those limbs. I, 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 all the hair is standing up on my body right now because this is a way that humans do things. So what if we just did things that way? So Kevin, being a truck driver, maybe a little introverted, like I am. A lot of people don't think that I am. I usually won't talk to a stranger unless the stranger asks me something. (laughs) And if it's something that I like to talk about, I, I can engage pretty quickly. So it's this unique things where you start realizing in your head that if I could pique someone's interest in 15 seconds, then I got to practice on that. And then where can I find throughout my day, 15 second shots? Uh, All day. You know what I mean? All day. So, you know, you play basketball, you'll notice a lot of people that play basketball have a tendency of always wrapping up the paper or whatever they're doing. And they got to make a shot for the garbage can. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a constant thought of, you know, that, you know, what you're doing, right? So that's the way you got to do it, Shauna. What you got to do is say, hey, listen, you know, how do I switch mentally from business to, to being a um, uh, domestic goddess, right? You know what I mean? It, it, it's really simple. It's just an awareness. It's a thought that I got to slip it in here. Oh, I got a couple of, uh, a couple of seconds here. I'll do a couple of posts. Uh, I got a couple of seconds here. Did you hear I didn't say minutes? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So I think that I, I, I not think I know the biggest problem that people are doing right now is if I said to every one of you, uh, you know, listen, you need to listen to the six phase meditation, Kevin. You got to do that tonight. And you know what usually is the very first thought is how long is the meditation? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, listen, I can watch you know, the world championship cold cornhole tournament for three hours, <laughs> but I can't slip in this 30 minute meditation. <laughs> it's like we're, we're crazy, you know? And it's like, oh my God, football's coming up. And it's like, so it, it's just mentally, you got to say, well, listen, you know, I'm going to listen to a little bit and then I'm going to shut it off when I'm done and my mind starts bouncing all over the place. And I'm thinking about something other than what he's saying. I just need to shut it off, walk away. What if we could treat life that way? Because if you mm-hmm. notice, Shauna, when you have children, they're demanding. <laughs> yes. And, and you might even count your husband as one of those. Yes. Yeah. I have two kids. I have my son and my husband. That's why I so, say my, I got so, my two boys. Yeah. My, my, my <laughs> wife has four boys. I'm one of them. <laughs> and so you, does this make more sense to you that when they're there, And then when they're not there, all of a sudden it's like, what do we mostly do? Oh, okay, so I really don't have anything else going on right now, so I'll just relax. Mm -hmm. This is me time. Well, me time is making sure that you never have to account to anybody ever again. Right. Me time is me escaping the rat race. Me, me, Me getting out of that damn rat race and a list of all the things that I don't want to do. I don't want someone calling me on my day off. <laughs> right. <laughs> I, I don't want. I don't want someone asking me if I can work over the weekend. See what I mean? It's like, wow, what, it, what all these little things. And then if I could replace that income, then I wouldn't have to do that. You know, mostly we do. We we make sure. If you guys, I, I'm sorry, I'm jumping all around, but it's what I do. You know, but Office Space, if you guys remember that funny, 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 funny movie, if you haven't seen it, watch it. But he finally got to the point where he just didn't care anymore. And because he didn't care and he wouldn't do as the management told him, he got promotion. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, you got to do those QR reports. I ain't doing them. Why? Because I think they're stupid. (laughs) I don't even know why we're doing them. They're like, wow this guy would be good in management. <laughs> it's sort of funny that when we start saying, I ain't doing that. I ain't doing that. I'm not doing that. I, you, so 
me, even when I got involved in this company, MDC, there was a lot of things that other people still do involved in the network marketing world that I don't. Because I just wrote a list of stuff that I hated doing that people said I had to do. Robert, you got to do weekly presentations. I don't like doing those. So to think that I've been in this company for four and a half years, just about ready to hit $4 million in earning, have 27,000 people responsible for my income, and I still haven't done a presentation. <laughs> just, just a thought, mm -hmm. but I wouldn't have pulled it off if I didn't say that I didn't want to do that. So Shauna, does that help you? Yes. Yeah. So just do it a little bit here, do it a little bit here, do it a little bit here. People go, well, it's hard to switch from a business mentality to just a talkative mentality. Uh, yeah, everything's that way. But all of a sudden, <laughs> when, it, when, it, when it clicks, it clicks. People say that they don't have time for stuff. But if all of a sudden you heard your child make that noise that he doesn't make very often, why can the whole world just stop? Woo! Mama bear. Right. <laughs> I, it's like you could have been in the middle of something. Doesn't matter. So see, you, you got the ability to do that. So that's where people, who I, in my opinion, get really, really messed up because they say, I just don't have time. I just don't have time. And I need this balance going on. And I got to take a part of my life and segment. I don't know how I can get it in. Don't. Just do little bits of it each and every day. Because if you practice that, your life will change. It's the simple little things that we do each and every day. If, if, um, if uh, you know, Kevin had a, a project that he was working on, you know what I mean? And it's funny, he's just got to be willing to go out there and start on the project. So me and my son recently, he, he had this leak in a bathroom. And so I just went, listen, I just went in there and grabbed a hammer and, and, and swung at the sheetrock and knocked a big hole in the sheetrock. <laughs> and, and my son was like, what the hell? And I just started breaking <laughs> out sheetrock and he had a vacuum going and he's going, um, uh, he goes, so are we doing this all right now? And I said, no, we're going to do what we can. And then it was funny. He said the next day when he got up, he's going, oh my God, that whole wall is tore up. And I go, so? And he goes, don't you think we should do a little more work on it today? I went, so this is a guy that would rather be playing video games. But now he's <laughs> walking through sheetrock dust and all of a sudden, he's got some time, Kevin. He's, he's got some <laughs> like, hey, can you show me the next thing to do? And I'm going, sure, I can show you the next thing to do. By the time we got done, he was like, hey, listen, I'm going to go put in some more flooring. I go, do you need any help? No, I don't. No, I don't. I got, I got, I got the flooring down. Then came the wall. You know, so <laughs> it's like, <laughs> like, but if you don't start the project, then it's like, oh my God, you know how much time it's going to take to redo the bathroom? Yep. But, you know, mm -hmm. Kevin's out there and he's just cleaning one part of his truck. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's like, you know, walk, walk up there and put wash me on it. Watch what happens. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Shauna. And great to meet you, Kevin. So I hope that thank helps. You. Yes, yeah, and we um, we met you at convention last year, and we can't wait to see you this year. We've got yeah, our tickets I, and I, our I, hotel and everything, so we're ready. You guys know I know you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's <Okay>. our dog. <laughs> see how fast you react? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Love you guys. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. You bet. You bet. Talk to you soon. Thank you, Shauna. Thank you, Kevin. Appreciate you being a part of this. Next up, we've got uh, Mr. John Tier followed by Joshua Cabe. So, John, you know what to do. Ask away. Ah, there it is. Hey, everybody. 
Hey, John, how are you, man? I'm just great, man. I'm really, really great. Craig, awesome as always. Yeah. I love your shirt, by the way, Craig. <laughs> Gee, I wonder where I got the idea. <laughs> hey, hey, Robert, I, I got to get uh, better at, at my peak. Mine takes 20 seconds instead of 15, so I'm, I'm, I'm trying to catch up with you. you know? ah, there you go. <laughs> so my, listen. My, my mind's never the same. Yeah. <laughs> ah. So now look, um, recently, we, I think it was yesterday when you were doing a, a video, we would, you started talking about uh, reasonable expectations. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, of course, you know, we, we've got a lot of explosion going on in, in, in MDC right now. Well, a lot of people are just, you know, busting ranks and, and all of that. And then, and then in other cases, not so much. So right. the question is, what kind of reasonable expectations should we have, you know, when we're approaching our business? Ah, uh, man, that's good. Which, by the way, um, I think I just went over nine. In the last two months, there's been over 9,000 new people that have come in my group. Just this month, I think it's 109 new rank advancements. So there might be a lot of people out there that think that nothing's happening in MDC, but uh, my four and a half years everything's been happening. <laughs> so the answer, John, is, is um, it really comes down to a lot of factors, man. It really, really does because your expectations are going to be different than mine. The amount of time that you can focus on it is different than mine. What you really want to achieve is different than mine. The urgency that you want those things are different than mine. Does that make sense, John? Yeah. So as uniquely as God created you with your DNA is as unique as your expectations are. So, you know, the, the number one phrase I still say to this day in designing your life is just the majority of the people just don't know what they want. They really don't know what they want. If you really ask them to define what they want and then really say something behind that, so when are you going, to, what, what, what would be your goal of achieving that? And so what we do is we always over-exaggerate how fast we can do something. You know, people's mentalities are really, really, really messed up from zero to three years. So they're like, oh my God, I'm going to knock out 1K. Oh my God, I'm going to knock out 10K. Oh my God, I'm going to quit my job next Thursday. It's like, Every time you do that, that to yourself, you're going to let yourself down. Mm -hmm. and, and so you just keep beating the crap out of yourself by just having unrealistic expectations. So what you got to do is you got to really have those, you know, in the six phase meditation, it talks about, you know, going through as many senses as you can, experiencing something that you're going to do, John, three years from now. If you can really lock down on that, it always happens way before three years. Does that make sense? Yes. And another thing that regardless of what you do in life, you guys, find someone that's already achieved what you have and ask them what's most important. The guy that still inspires me to, to this day was one of my first up lines, Jeff or Birdie. And Jeff or Birdie today has over a million people on active auto ship, what we call today subscription. So my mentality has always been, look for the thing that you really truly want, John. And for me, it's like, I'm going to make a million dollars a month. And to make a million dollars a month and people that I know that have done it and already done it and helped other people do it, what, what is the main goal they needed to achieve? And the main goal that they needed to achieve is to have a million people on monthly auto ship or now what we call subscription. So my mind is focused on how fast I can help other people make that happen. When I think of that, don't get mad at me, you guys, but I'm like, geez, how can I do a post on a pink drink? See that? <laughs> <laughs> and, and what I think is so funny as I'm trying to teach people how to do the business that I'm in, the business that I've made millions in, 
um, you always see these discussions happening with the company. Oh my God, I can't believe you ran out of that. And I'm going like, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and over and over again. If you take your entire group and you're building a group and they're focused on one product and the company two months ago was selling zero of that product, and then you built a large group that are all focused on just one product, why are you surprised that the company ran out of it? Hmm. <laughs> Guess what? You just did your job. <laughs> you just did your job. So the company's not going to over overstock on every product because they don't know what's going to happen 90 days from now. So I hope that answered your question, John. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. So, so if your dream is to build a dream home, first thoughts is where is the piece of property? Okay. Mm -hmm. Take it little baby step. If I'm going to build a dream home, where the hell do I want this dream home to be? And usually, you know what the answer is? I don't know. Well, what a great first step of never getting there. Right. <laughs> See what I mean? Right, 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 right. There's a crazy expensive area in Newport Coast, California, that my wife and I, 37 years ago, 30 set before I got involved in network marketing. I'm a freaking auto mechanic. Going back and forth on my motorcycle to work. And we went down. And I said, man, can you imagine having a house up there? And so we went up there. And Terry and I took pictures of up there. And the last five years, they now are starting construction on those areas. Um, people are like, what does a lot cost there? Uh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> See, that's when your mind starts going, oh my God, it's $6 million for an acre. Okay, I got to figure out how to do that. So if I get a million people on auto ship or a million people on subscription and I'm making a million dollars a month, that's only six months of my income. You guys are like, well, I don't need something that expensive. Well, great. Then just start out with stuff that's better than what you got right now. <laughs> <laughs> what would it really cost for a down payment on a brand new vehicle? Jeez, I, I, I don't even need a new vehicle. Are you guys starting to see where you're getting in trouble already? I just need a reliable vehicle. Um, hard to get excited to talk to people when you're just willing to just stay with the norm. As parents, I believe that we should be role models, man, role models on what can be possible. So mm -hmm. there you go, John, that help you. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Craig, I need to be courteous. You told me before, what time do we need to shut this down? Um, one thirty, so we can All right, cool. probably squeeze two more people in if that's right. good with you. Depending on how long I answer one question, right? <laughs> well, you know, it, it's always great to hear the way you put things together because you make sense. You m allow others to understand, Thank you. you know, some of these things because, and that's what I love, Robert, is it, from a personal standpoint, you talk normal. <laughs> you share normally. You, I'm like the simplest relate. dude I know. Yes, you relate to everybody. Uh, and that's what's so awesome. Thank you, Craig. I had a guy just recently said, my wife is not supportive. And I said, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Have you kept a number of how many times you promised her something that you didn't fulfill on? And he looked at me and he went, dude, that's, that's, that's messed up. And I go, how many times did you get excited and fill her head full of these amazing dreams and life that you were going to provide for her? Dude, I wouldn't support you either. 
I said, it'd be like you and I all of a sudden had a project that we we're going to build a, a race car. And you got all excited with me and I got excited. We got a couple of friends, but I'm the only guy in the freaking garage every night. Uh -huh. And then you're going to ask, why don't you ever, why don't we ever go out and have a beer anymore? Dude, you're full of BS. Ah, and he went, man, that hurt. That really, really hurt. And I said, I've been there. I know. I said, so I made some mistakes in my life. And the next company that I got into, I put my wife's name in the company, not mine. I put her name in the company. All the checks were coming to her. And all of a sudden she liked me. It was weird. It's like she was doing all this nice stuff for me. And, and, you know, I'm like, wow, this is like the girl I dated. This is pretty cool. You know, all that, all that stuff came back because I started doing what I said I would do. Okay. So a lot of things in life are really just the opposite of what we think they are. I like my spouse to support me. Um, do you support your spouse? I wish I had, I wish I was in better shape. Uh, have something hurt you and end up in the ER. ER. You watch how fast you change your attention. <laughs> <laughs> like, like now every day I'm spending all day getting better. <laughs> it's like, it's pretty interesting. Okay, thank you, Joshua. All right, Joshua Cabe, let's go ahead. I see your hand raised. Go ahead and please share. Welcome. First off, hello, everybody. Robert Hollis, you just gave me goosebumps with what you were just saying. I actually literally just went through this like a couple days ago with the whole not supportive. And you just got me lost for words, buddy. It's not the fact of am I supporting? It's the fact of are you showing something worth getting support to? Yeah. Are you actually are you actually moving? Are you making moves for that support? Yeah. Man. Wow. Give yeah, me a second, you, Joshua. Buddy. Give me a second. Thank you, Joshua. I love you, man. I love you. Um, it's like I, 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 I love all the, the, <laughs> I, I tell people all the time, man. You you start doing stuff. And it's amazing. The kids will help you. Your spouse will jump in. Your brother will call and say, "Why, Joshua? Why aren't you? Why aren't you returning my calls, dude? Listen, I, I, I'm building a new deck on the back of the house. I don't have time to talk. Right. Why are you tell me? Uh, I don't know because I'm finishing the deck. Hell, I'll come over and help you finish the deck. It's weird. People are weird when you go into action and be consistent. People will come off the walls to help you. That's my problem, bud. I mean, I've been in, I've been probably close to a year now and I'm just now getting into reading my first year of network marketing. And it, it's, it's a year too long. No, it's I, you not. Know, no, 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 you're right. You're right. No, no, it's not. But in my mind, my mind is kind of set like, stop as it. soon as somebody, stop it. <laughs> You know, so like stop when you're going beating, through your daily, stop beating yourself up. <laughs> well, I'm not real. I'm not trying to beat myself up. I'm just trying to yeah, speak to are. myself. I'm trying you to speak are. loud and clear. You are, <laughs> you are beating. So yourself. like when when you're going through you're, you're, your you're, daily, you're dealing with a you're you're dealing with an ex addict of of beating the hell out of myself. Okay. You know, so I can disguise it in you very very quickly. So you think you should have done what you should have done. You didn't. So then you're mad at yourself and then you feel guilty and ashamed because you didn't do what you're doing. So then you get yourself jacked up and then you don't do anything tomorrow. And now you're pissed off at yourself and now you're guilty again. And you're constantly looking for shit outside yourself to just do something small, do something small. Stop thinking, oh my God, I've been in for a year. So what? There's people that are not in at all. They don't. They, they, <laughs> they're like, Hey, you want to find them? They're holding a cardboard sign saying I'll work for food. You know what I mean? Listen, come on. <laughs> I'm but hearing you, bud. I, 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 but was there, was there, as I was talking and I gave you that insight 
Was there anything else specific that you would like to ask? I mean, yeah, if like when you, I got my daughter, I got, I got my back against the wall. I'm getting better and better with knowing what prospecting and building relationships. It's just the consistency part, the having my own foot behind my own butt, kicking it, what? you know, these peak times, you know, one o'clock in the morning. Why are you not up at one o'clock in the morning, Josh, when everybody else is asleep? Right. Why, why, well, why is well, your head like Guess what? <laughs> all you do, all you do is look at a map and there's 24 time zones. So guess what, Robert Hollis, at three o'clock, you guys are going to be freaked out here. Three o'clock in the morning, Montana time. Do you know what I was doing? Doing a Zoom to the group in Nigeria. It's 10 o'clock in the morning there, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so I started looking at when my time was available and I used to, I, I, I just love this business because it's like, I got a whole group in Asia and my first thing to them is, uh, Jacob, is tomorrow going to be a good day? And they're like, what are you talking about? Well, tomorrow you're, you're at Sunday. Is, is it a good day? Tell me if it's going to be a good day. And they go, I've never heard that. I said, I'm excited for tomorrow. You're already there. You know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they're going, yeah, it's a good day but they never used to say that. Right. <laughs> they used to say same crap, different day. So Joshua, let me give you a little help with this. All right. If I said to you, what do you want? What is the number one thing that you want right now? If I could just take a magic wand, whap you on the forehead and it's there. You know what I mean? What would be the number one thing that you want right now in your life? To get my butt in gear and move this company, my business along like everybody else. Okay. But and stay consistent and don't back down. I want to learn that resentlessness. I want okay. to learn that. What? Now, <laughs> just you Jake. saying that right now will make it not Jake. happen. Jake. And I'll tell you why. You don't know what that is. You've never been that in this industry. You've never been that. So I'll give you a neat example. Have you ever been to New York? No. You haven't? No. So do you have a desire to go to New York? No. Interesting, huh? Yeah. So people go, Joshua, man, you gotta, you gotta go to New York. Your first thought in your head is, no, I do not. I don't have to do a damn thing you tell me to do. So that Joshua that's rebellious, that says, you ain't telling me, you're not my boss, shut the F up. That same voice is in your head, Joshua, to you. <laughs> yes, it is. You, talk, you, you are talk, absolutely you correct. Go, you go, damn it, I, I got to do this right now. I got to be consistent. No, you don't. No, you don't. That's Dino in the, in the back of your head going, no, you don't. No, you know, yeah, you're living in a house, you got food, you're 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 getting your bills paid. You don't no, you don't, you don't have to do that. And you go, yeah, I do. I, I do. No, you don't. I, I do because it's all quite the opposite. I got right. I gotta get my I got my daughter along the way that's gonna be doing November. I got my two-year-old daughter, and we need somewhere fast. And okay. So now let me help jobs. You with that. And let me help you with that. Instead of disguising of what you think that person of Jacob is, what if you knew exactly how? So say if you desire to go to New York and you got to get there, you have to get there. You have to. Isn't your first thoughts immediately going, well, based on my finances, uh, I guess I better start walking. <laughs> But you figure out what you got to do. So you check off, well, should I fly private? <laughs> you stupid. I don't have 20 grand. No, that's marked off. <laughs> well, how about flying first class? Ain't doing that either. That's $1,000. One way. Check that out. Okay. Uh, uh, train? That'll take forever. I don't have that much time. I'm not taking train. Okay. Bus? 
that's not happening either. I don't need a week to get to New York. I want it to happen faster. How about an automobile? I don't know if I got a reliable automobile, but you got to get to New York. Well, maybe I could borrow one. Maybe I could borrow a reliable vehicle. Well, how much is it going to cost for gas? I figure out the gas mileage, how many miles? Wow, looks like it's going to cost 500 bucks for gas. You see what I mean? That's the way you break down this business. So if you want to make $5,000 a month, you know I got a video on my, on my YouTube channel and you just go on there and put $5,000. And it's like, okay, so I don't need to be consistent what if you found a person like me, Jacob? What if you found someone that already wanted to make six figures? And they have some cool things. They have money. They have time. They have center of influence. They already know how to be consistent. They got work ethic. I peak interest of more people in a day than other people have done in their lifetime. But I learned this skill because I got stuff I need to take care of. So now people are like, I should sell some paint trick or I should sell some, you know, FFX. That's not my goal. That's not my goal. I want an Aaron Parker in my group. I want a, a Candace Bird Davis in my group. I, I want a Tomas in my group. Wait a minute. You're looking for people that want to make six figures? Yeah. Why? What? Why, why, why would I want to contact a bunch of people that don't know what the hell they want? What right. if I just contact yeah. people that do know what they want? Exactly. <laughs> and that's where I stand too. I, can't, I don't got no time. I mean, I know what I want. I know what I want. And I'm going to get there one day. And I'm not going to stop until I get there. It's just, I, <clears throat> I just need to get there. Right. But, and I'm but get if there. I told you, you said you don't, you've never been to New York. You don't want to go there. And I don't know where you live, Jacob. Where do you live? Josh, <laughs> uh, oh. I'm, I'm in Nebraska. <laughs> I'm see, in Nebraska. Hey, okay, you're in Nebraska. So if I yes. told you that I'll give you $5,000 in cash if you get to New York. I, I don't know who wouldn't. <laughs> if they wouldn't, that's just crazy. I know a lot of people that wouldn't. <laughs> because they would fall in three categories. And that's why I go through these people so fast. The first category, I don't believe you'd give me the money. Then the, for our communication is pretty much over. Okay, right. No, it's not. No, it's not. Okay, Josh, I understand that you don't believe oh. that I have the money. But if someone was smart enough, they'd just Google my name okay. and then that's over. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So just put in Robert Hollis and see if you don't think I got money. All right. Yeah. So now since you're not going to do it and you don't think I'd give it to you, who do you think would? Do you have some crazy friends that you know where you call them up and you go, dude, I've been trying to get a hold of you. And they're like, yeah, I'm in Hawaii. It's like, what the hell? I, you just jumped in a car and started driving someplace? Yeah. Those are the kind of people I like working with. Right. They don't think and that's why I stick to you guys. <laughs> they don't think they shouldn't do something. They always are figuring out white reasons how to do something. They just do it. They're risk takers. They just go. Right. So yeah. that's the kind of person for, so first you got to, you got to, you said, call you Josh, right? So Josh, the first thing you got to do is you got to figure out yeah, how to make money in this business. What, what, what would be the end goal? And it still blows me away to this day that people are calling people all day, every day, peaking interest to people that are not interested. I, I would go insane if I did business the way most people do business in this. Well, I'm just going to reach out to a bunch of people that, that, that are strangers that don't have a very good Facebook profile and ask them if they'll help me out. It's like, oh my God, you're, you spend all day, every day talking to uninterested people and they zap your energy and they make you second guess every damn thing you're doing. <laughs> And some people got a whole group of unmotivated people that are whiners. I'm going like, man, I, 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 I'd rather not do this business than hang around a bunch of whiners. <laughs> you see what and I mean? And this is why I love you, man. This is why I love you because you are truth. Yeah. Man, you're truth. Yeah. So I, if I'm going to go out and do something tomorrow, 
Josh, and I say, hey, listen, I think I'm going to go to the race car race. Watch how fast I sort. Josh, what are you doing tomorrow? I am thinking about going to the races. I don't want to go. Bye. <laughs> what, people are like, why do you why why do you sort me so fast? Dude, I'm going to the races. I want to know who wants to go. Wow. Ah, uh, that's really bombs drop. It's really hot out. Why? See ya. Why is it every oh, time you go to watch on TV and you watch a race, there's a bunch of freaking people there. If you want to go see a race, why not talk to people that want to go to a freaking race? Right. I'm like, what, 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 last time I went to a race was like a month ago and, and Kevin and Shauna came. I bet you Kevin go. Hey, Kev, what are you doing tomorrow? I, I actually have the day off. You want to go to the race? Hell yeah. Am I picking you up or are you picking me up? These people so are great. fun to hang around. Yeah, <laughs> and that's why that's why I'm, I'm not going to give up on. I I, I I even went into uh, how do you call that overdraft to make sure I had my package a couple few months ago. I don't know many people that that would do that. I don't oh, know anybody that would me, do that. Me, <laughs> I know. Well, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, 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 I'll give you one quick one, and we got to shut this down. A uh, uh, loss, loss if I, I, you know, you can reach out to me personally and and ask a question. I'll get to you. We got to let uh, Craig go. But but here's a funny thing that if, if, if you really really think about it, and you're just looking for interested people, but it's more, it, it's more not just interested people. It's people that are interested that are willing to do what they need to do right now. You know what I mean? And if you knew to change their life, if you knew how few those were, if you knew how few those were, you would sort through people like, like butter, man. You would go through, you're going, wow, I got to, I got to, I got to connect with a thousand people. And people say that all to me. They go all the time. Oh my God, a thousand people. Are you crazy? And like I was sharing with Shauna, just, just break it down. I'm a geek. It's like, figuring numbers out game. Miles. <laughs> it's like figuring out miles to a destination, right? So I'm going a thousand people. And if it took 15 seconds, right? So if I took that and I went, okay, a thousand people, that would be a thousand minutes. So then what I'm going to do is divide that by four. So I'm going to divide that by four. That's 250 minutes. How many people are starting to get this already? Like 250 people. Two, I could... I could scream through that in a couple hours. And people were going like, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, because if I walk up to somebody, I think I learned this and I'll leave you with this, Josh. I learned this because I was no. forced to do cold market. You're going to get right I, there. I, You're going to your pants. And it had to be face to face because there was no internet or no cell phone. Right. So I'm standing there and someone gets his eye contact with me and I go, hi. And if their response is, I'm done. <laughs> On to the next, right. Yep. That's a non-interested person. You see what I mean? <laughs> yep. People don't get that on social media. They're too busy trying to convince people instead of just finding the people that actually respond, that people that will actually say, hey, listen, you caught me. I still love this when people go, hey, listen, I was wondering if you could do me a favor. Why? <laughs> Never mind then. <laughs> see where I see you. I, I'm, I'm like, no. why, why would you keep? I mean, uh, hey, I, I really appreciate you. I, I hope you have a blessed day. And I, I'm on. And I don't need to make them feel worse. Wrong. I used no, I to. Said. I used to. Like, Kev, you got a minute? Uh, Christ, Robert. Dude, why are you an asshole? You know, I, I mean, it's like every time you call me, you need something. You never call to ask me if I'm okay. You never call me to see how Shauna and the kids doing. You never ask me anything about me. Anytime you ever reach out to me, you need something. All right. Well, this was an uncomfortable call. <laughs> so, I don't know why people. So that's why people in the convincing mode and people in the selling mode that's why they don't like to be consistent because they get bad results from talking to uninterested people. But you feel like a, you feel like a carnival barker. 
You know what I mean? Hey, come over here. Try to get the ring on the bottle. Give your wife a teddy bear. It's funny. You guys, Josh has headphones on, so he doesn't hear all the stuff around. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> that's okay Josh thank you very much man loving loving oh thank you I'm, I'm, I'm gonna continue with I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna get this business packed down and Shana, I didn't tell you what you wanted you don't want to be consistent oh you want to check next week for a thousand dollars you don't want to be consistent you want to check next week for a thousand dollars? Yes, I do. Josh, what do you want? A check for a thousand dollars next week. There you go. I want to get paid. What do you want? I want a payday. That's what I want. <laughs> no. Doesn't that sound different than Robert? What do you want? Well, I'd like to be sort of consistent and and uh, yeah. <laughs> No, I want a million bucks. Wait a minute. No, I want a million a month. <laughs> it changes your thinking. It changes what you yes, want to do. All right. Craig, back to you. I love and appreciate all you guys. Thank Craig. you. Craig, back to you. Josh, thank you so much. And uh, yeah, you know, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, I want to say thank you to Bill, Shauna and Kevin, John, Josh, and Alexandra for participating in today's Ask Me Anything. You guys were amazing. And this is why we love this format with Robert, because he gets the opportunity to talk to you directly. And when I say you, I'm not only talking to Josh, Bill, John, Kevin, and John, uh, Shauna. I'm talking to you as the people that are watching. There is, yes, he does it every day and he does talk to us, but this, honestly, Robert, to me, this is more personal. Not that it isn't on those shows, but there's just something different, something, uh, something elevated because we get to speak to you personally. This is a dialogue. This is not a one way. So Robert, bless you and thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, um, just a couple of things in, before we do sign off uh, today. If you want to save the information that is shared in the chat, I'm going to go ahead and post how to do it. Uh, it's very simple because there's a lot of great information in there. I posted some videos. I posted some links such as the six phase meditation. Robert's book is in there. I'll post that one also in just a moment. Uh, if you want to save the information in the chat, uh, make sure that the chat is on to the right. There's little three little dots on the bottom there. Click on those three little dots, then click on save chat. And at the uh, conclusion of this call, that will download to your computer. So uh, please make sure that you do that because there's some, you know, that, this is the one thing I love about Robert is he shares all these nuggets. And you know what, everybody participates. It's great that you can and learn as well. Uh, I'm sure that this will be reposted up on your uh, uh, in, in your Facebook groups as well as on YouTube. The YouTube link is in the chat. And then, of course, if you want to become part of Robert Hollis, get his free book, go to roberthollis.com forward slash free. Again, the link posted in the chat. And you're just going to get a treasure trove of Robert and his golden nuggets. So, my friend, bless you. Thank you. Thank you, Greg. It's, it's a pleasure to do this. It's an honor to do this with you. I learned so much, and I think everybody else does too. Uh, a final word before we sign off. All I want to tell each and every one of you, if you really, truly get it, this business is easy if you make it easy. We just as human beings overthink and complicate everything. We just do. So the reason I'm successful at this business, just like in everything else I've done in life, is I just break it down into little bites. You guys have all heard this. You eat an elephant one bite at a time. You know what I mean? People just look at it as an elephant. Take forever. Nah, just, I should use a different thought than that one. <laughs> but, but it's like, yeah, you, 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 you paint a house, you know, one, one, one little brush stroke at a time, you know? 
And so uh, if no one's giving you permission to succeed in life, let me be the first. I know that you can do this. And Craig, thank you so much again. No better host on the planet. I appreciate you. Bless you. And also, by the way, thank you to Matthew for also helping to set this up. Matthew Hollis, grateful to you. Thank you so much. Alexandra? Thank you guys so much. Thanks, Craig. Thanks, yeah. Dad. Alexandra, I see you got your hand raised up. You know, we you just have to just reach out to me if you guys have individual questions and, and I'll do my best to answer them as quick as we can. And, and look uh, for the next AMA coming soon. Yeah, yeah, pro probably. Absolutely. Why not do it next Saturday? Right, right, love you guys. Have a great weekend. Thanks, everybody. We're Have sure a great weekend. Give you a big hug.